what what is today man uh first earlier this morning the news about Jalen ferguson uh current ravens player and now the news about the former ravens player former ravens legend um the goose tony saragusa um 55 years old man it's 55 years old man that's like that's crazy man it's just today today just been a, a, a crazy day uh and of course you, you you feel for for him for his uh immediate family extended family friends uh teammates anybody that knew him anybody that knew him um i remember just seeing uh so many clips of him and videos of him and just the energy level was always high always smiling always joking around always talking about somebody always like making fun of somebody making fun of something uh, always laughing and that's uh that's one of the most important things that you could do in life is just to laugh for real just to laugh because it's too much um craziness uh and and just bad stuff that happens on a daily uh that takes away from a lot of people's joy uh, so if you could find something to laugh at every day, find something to, to make fun of, even if you make fun of yourself, do that. But, you know, like the, uh, you know, Ray Lewis, like he was such a strong personality, especially on that first uh, Raven Super Bowl team. Shannon Sharp was as well. But Goose was right there with them boys, too, man. He was right there when it came to. Uh, personality levels and just uh, what he brought to the team Not even just on the field, but off the field What he brought off the field um, I remember always seeing him with the uh, the little visor hat Turned upside down and to the back um, And again, just always joking uh, That's why it, it, it just sucks, man It sucks Death sucks But again, it, it wasn't what it was supposed to be we not supposed to die it's not supposed to be like that but um with the goose man it's just man like what is today like it it, it, it it's crazy man um and young 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 55 i know some people think oh man that's oh no that that's still young um Again, the same thing with Jalen Ferguson. I know more details have come out by now with Jalen Ferguson, but with Tony Saragusa, whatever happened, it it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. And I think um, people have gotten so uh, desensitized, if, if that's the if that's the right word, um, to death because they see it so much and. In this age of social media, uh, people, they want everything right here, right now. They want information right here, right now. Uh, if somebody dies and everybody's like, no, a lot of people are like, oh, yeah, rest in peace, so, so sorry. But then most people, a lot of people are like, oh, what happened, what happened, what happened? I just got to know. I, what, what happened, what happened, what happened? And with social media, um, which I always say is a gift and a curse, it has desensitized people to so much because... Social media shows so much, and it shows so much stuff instantly, like right away. Um, and in some cases, that can be a good thing. In some cases, it can be a bad thing. It just all depends. But people will uh, just be fishing for information so much and without even feeling for the person who's involved in whatever the situation may be or feeling for the person's family who's involved in whatever the situation may be. Um, so it's just, it's unfortunate, but I'm glad that we have a, uh, a nice hope for the future. Um, that's something that, uh, definitely looking forward to. Um, but this, this, this is just, it's rough, man. It's rough. It's rough. Um, that's why I say, man, be good to people, man. Be good to people. Um, it's nice to know that with Tony Saragusa, um, he wasn't known like as a bad person. When, when I think of him, first thing I think about him joking around on somebody. 
him again, him making fun of somebody, him laughing at something that 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 voice that he had, ah, just laughing at somebody. That, that's what I think of. Um, so I think he, the way he portrayed himself, at least in the NFL. Obviously, I didn't know him personally, anything like that. But how he portrayed himself um, in the NFL, and even um, when he was a, a commentator, I think it was for Fox on on the side or a reporter on the sideline for Fox games. Same thing. Same thing. Like they would show him on the sideline and he would do like a little report on something that was going on or update on the game or whatever. And then, you know how they, they show the reporter talking and then they put the camera back on the game, but the reporter's still talking. And with him, again, the jokes would fly. The jokes stay flying. And I always appreciate that about people, man. When them jokes stay flying, because those are the people that know how to enjoy life, man. You don't walk around all just angry all the time. Oh man, I'm 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 mad. I'm mad. I'm mad. I'm mad. And, and plenty of people got plenty of reasons to be upset. They all do. We all do. But it's important, in my opinion, that we look for even more reasons to be happy uh, and to be grateful, um, and just to really be thankful for everything, for everything. Jadon gave us so much, um, and it's important that. Uh, we are appreciative of that. And again, death is not what it's supposed to be. And it ain't going to be like that forever. It's not. Um, but until that time comes when death will be no more, we got to keep pushing, man. Be there for people. Be there for each other. Be there for your friends. Be there for your family. Just be there. It's important to be there. Um, to man, this is just crazy, man. It's just been, this, this, this been a day right here, man. It's been a crazy day. Uh, in not just the NFL world, but specifically the Baltimore Ravens world. Just shell shot, man. It's crazy. Um, but again, like I always say, man, y'all be good to people, man. Be good to people. Um, be good to people. Be good to yourself. Be good to your family. Be good to your friends. Be good to people. Don't uh, hold on to grudges. Don't hold on to no beef, no, because it, it ain't worth it. Yeah, 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 it ain't worth it. And just let go of stuff, man. Let go of bad stuff. Hold on to good stuff. Let go of bad stuff. Any bad vibes, just let it go. Let it go. Because it, it, it just, it certainly ain't worth it. And like times like this, they serve as reminders, but other times serve as reminders too. Good times serve as reminders too. Um, because you could be like festering just these bad thoughts, these, these, this anger towards somebody, this hate towards somebody. But when you let it go, you realize like, man, that wasn't even worth it. Wasn't even worth it. It like that, that did nothing for me. That did nothing to them. It, it was not even worth it. So y'all keep your heads up, man. Keep going. Um, keep pushing. And keep telling people, not just today, but we say this every day, keep telling people that you love them. Keep telling people that you're thinking about them, care about them, all that good stuff, man. Go make somebody's day good today because uh, it's a lot of people out there that's going through a lot, a whole lot. Um, so if you could, like, brighten up somebody's day, do that. <laughs>